Young love is a popular theme from Romeo and Juliet to the latest sitcom. But what of mature love? Winner of the Golden Palm at the Cannes Film Festival, the 2012 European Film Award as Best Film, and many other international prizes, Amour, directed by Michael Haneke, follows the last months of a devoted Parisian couple in their 80s, as played by French film icons Jean-Louis Tratignan and Emmanuel Riva. Noted critic Annette Insdorf guides Canapé through the art of this humanist masterpiece. I had the good fortune to attend the closing night of the Cannes Film Festival, the ceremony where Amour was given the Palme d'Or. And just before the ceremony began, I went over to Michael Haneke, and I congratulated him on what for me was the most moving film I had seen at the festival, and how much I appreciated that it was non-manipulative. And he said to me something that I guess is quintessentially Hanukkah. He said, simplicity was the key. Y a quelqu'un Alors quand je suis entrée, je me suis rappelé comment je vous écoutais toujours faire l'amour quand j'étais petite. Ça me donnait le sentiment que vous vous aimiez et qu'on resterait toujours ensemble. Ah 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 oh, Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Qu'est-ce qu'il y a There are so many reasons why I consider Amour to be not only an important film, but a deeply moving one. Um, first and foremost, because Michael Haneke, the director, did not go for easy sentimentality. When you think about depicting an aging couple who've been together a long time and love each other, and suddenly one of them has to care for the other, watching her with helplessness and denial as she disintegrates, essentially, Oh, a typical Hollywood film would have the soaring violins, would have these dramatic moments of wrenching tears. Hanukkah issues all of that and instead gives us this rigor and simplicity which make the emotional wallop all the stronger. He takes on a topic that I believe most artists are loath to deal with, namely death, or shall we say, he confronts mortality without sentimentality, and that's unusual. 